Hi, I'm Kyle from Huawei Developers and welcome to Develop with HMS Core. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate Huawei Game Service into your app. Huawei Game Service is designed to help support low cost construction of basic game functions, such as unlockable achievements, leaderboards, and saves. It can improve your efficiency in testing, managing, and releasing games, and helps you continuously optimize your game. Currently, Huawei Game Service serves hundreds of millions of Huawei mobile phone users in over 170 countries or regions. It allows you to quickly build basic game functions at a low cost and provides localized in-depth operations based on users and content. In this course, we will build an Android app with simple gaming functions. Okay, let's get started. First, open Android Studio, select Empty Activity, give your app an app package a name, and then click Finish to create an Android project. Then on the official Huawei Developers website, go to Console, Huawei App Gallery, select My Apps, click New, and enter the necessary information to create a project. Now, click the Develop tab. In the dialog box that is displayed, enter the app package name configured in Android Studio, and then click Save. Click the setting icon button in the upper left corner and select Manage APIs. Make sure the In App Purchases option, Account Kit option, and Game Service option are all on. Click Overview and download the AG Connect Services JSON file. Next, move the downloaded AG Connect Services JSON file to the app directory. Open the Build Gradle file, add the Huawei Maven repository, and the App Gallery Connect dependency independencies. Open the build Gradle file in the app directory, add the app gallery connect plugin, the Huawei account kit, in-app purchases, and game service dependencies independencies, and then add the app's signature information. Next, open the ProGuard rules file and add the necessary code to prevent the HMS SDK from being obscured. Open the activity main file, and add several buttons with different functions. Add the My Application file to Inherit Application. In the OnCreate method, execute the Set Application method of Huawei Mobile Services Util to register an activity callback listener. Open the main activity file and develop the Game Signing and Achievements functions. Override the Lifecycle methods on Stop on pause, on start, and on resume, and then implement the required service logic. For example, in on start, call game begin to launch the game. In on stop, call game end to end the game. Add the init method, create the JOS apps client class, and then start the game client. Add the login method, call Huawei game API, to send a sign-in request and check whether sign-in is successful in the callback method on results. If sign-in is successful, display the username and in-game player ID. Add the sign-in method to open a new page for users to sign in with a username and a password. In the sign-in method, call the sign-in service using Huawei ID Auth Manager and add the on success and on failure callback methods. If signing is successful, the onSuccess method is executed and configures the user's information. If signing fails, the onFailure method is executed and obtains the relevant intent through Huawei ID Auth Manager, then opens a new signing page. After a user completes signing on the new page, they will be redirected back to this page. In this case, you need to check the signing results in the onActivity result method and then call the handle sign in result method to update the user's status accordingly. Add the get current player method and obtain player's client through games. Then execute the get current player method of player's clients and call on success and on failure to request the player's information. After a player's information is obtained, execute the on success method. This method then displays the player's information. Next, 
call game begin to launch the game. Now create a handler and a polling task to display messages obtained in real time during gameplay. Add the save player info method to save a player's information. Here, you create player information parameters that will be saved by save player info. Add the game begin method and obtain player's clients through games. Send a game begin instruction request and add a callback listener for this request. If the callback is successful, save the session information. Next, add the game end method. The logic in this method is similar to game begin. The only difference is that you need to change the instructions that are sent to game end. Add the game play extra method and call the get player extra info method of player's client to get additional player data. Then add a callback listener to display the obtained data. Congratulations. We have now completed the coding for game signing and launch. Let's move on to developing the achievements function. Go back to App Gallery Connect and click the app that we have just created. Then go to Operate, Products, Game Achievements. Click Create, enter achievement information, and then save the achievement. The new achievement is then displayed on the achievement list. Go back to Android Studio create the achievement activity class and call the get achievement intent method in the class. In this method, obtain the achievement list through achievements clients. In the callback listener, open a new page to display the returned achievement data. Add the load achievement and load achievement off methods and call the load achievement method to open achievement list activity. So achievement data can be stored on the clients or server can be loaded. Configure the achievement list rendering code and data adapter in achievement list activity. Now, call the init data method to begin Huawei ID information and call the request data method to obtain the achievement list to achievements clients, which will render the achievement list on the UI. Implement the on item click method so that an achievement's information can be displayed when a user taps the achievement. To reach an achievement, add the unlock method and pass in the achievement ID. To reveal a hidden achievement, add the reveal method and then call the visualize method of achievements client. To gradually increase the number of completed steps for an achievement, add the increment method and call the grow method. To directly set the number of completed steps for an achievement, add the set step method and call the make steps method. And that's it. We have now completed setting up the achievements function. Let's give it a try. Open up the app, tap init test to prepare the player information and tap sign in to sign in. You can tap get current player to obtain the current player's data, tap load achievements to load the achievement data obtained from the game server, or tap load achievement offline to load locally saved achievement data. On the achievement list, you can tap a specified achievement to view it in more detail. Now we have successfully implemented the game signing and achievement function. That was some achievement, right? Well, that's all for today's episode. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or visit the Huawei developers website and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.